Hey guys, this is Simon from Tribe Web Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to withdraw from Binance. So Binance has two methods of withdrawal. You can either withdraw as um, crypto, so that's sending um, the cryptocurrency from your Binance wallet to another wallet, or uh, withdraw as fiat, that's physical cash. So you can withdraw your crypto and then it's be converted to um, your local currency. Let's say US dollar, the Nigerian naira. The australian dollar the great british pound so um this video will be covering the whole process of withdrawing in these two um methods so i'm um, just relax um, follow me while i show you how to do it so the first thing you have to do is um open the binance app and then go to the option called wallet so if you're using the mobile version it you might have a different interface but it's still the same thing just look for wallet and then click on fiat and spot Fiat and spot is uh, just the basic. So if you want to make any withdrawal, you have to move the currency first, the crypto first to Fiat and spot. So um, the next thing you have to do is um, select the currency, sorry, the crypto you want to withdraw. So um, for this example, let's use BNB. So here you can see the total and then the available, and then you can see the total value in BTC. So sometimes you might have a higher total but a lower available. Maybe you might have staked the coin. So the next thing you have to do is click on withdraw and then um, give it some seconds to load then it will take you to a new interface so um, my internet is quite slow today so you guys have to bear with me so um here you can see your recent withdrawal so um my binance account is quite active but you have to scroll down scroll up a bit and then once you click on this again a drop down menu to show you the two coins available or it show you all your tokens available and then here um on that address you have to um fill this your withdrawal should i say your withdrawal information so uh first so you can also withdraw uh, add an address book um i'll show you how to add an address book um as we go on in this video but for now i don't have an address book saved yet so first we have to go back to new address and then um next you have to put your um, withdrawal address the address you want to send the wallet you want to send the coin to so i've already withdrawn um bnb before to my trust wallet so i'll just put my trust wallet um address here so i'll paste it and then um it has automatically set selected the network for me which is the binance smart chain the next thing you have to do is to uh, um put the amount you want to withdraw so um let me highlight it here as you can see the minimum withdrawal is 0 0.02 bnb if you can't uh, withdraw if you don't have up to 0 0.02 bnb you can't withdraw it but once you withdraw the maximum bnb i have 0 0.16 which is higher than 0 0.02 and here again you have to notice that you have to pay um 0 0.005 bnb and the total you get it it's it will also be highlighted and then once you are cool with everything you click on withdraw but before that you have to make sure you're withdrawing to the right address because if you put the right address or the right the wrong sorry if you put the wrong address or the wrong network um you might lose your crypto forever because um once you with crypto once the ad once the um request has been sent it cannot be cancelled it cannot be tempered with so make sure you're using the right earth address and then okay here's it again it's asking you to make sure that the network selects uh, supports bsc which is binance smart chain um trust wallet supports it so i just have to click on confirm i'm using binance smart chain because it's cheaper um the network fee is lower than others and here again there's uh, just some um, caution telling you that um transactions cannot be cancelled blah 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 just click on confirm and then here this is the security um part where you have to do uh, some security verification so two codes will be sent to you first the email verification code and then the phone verification code this is a binance security feature so you have to click on click to get code and um then you have to check your email address and then the sms the phone number linked to um your binance account for some code so um i'll just wait for some seconds and um, the code should pop in anytime soon so i've gotten the phone verification code and then uh, now i have to go and check my email for the email verification code this is a one-time password and otp so you can just use it once after this if you want to make another withdrawal you have to request for another code oh i just made an error um you have to make sure you are putting the code at the right section so the error i made was put the 
um, phone verification code in the email verification side. So right now I've switched it back and then I've put the email verification and um, the phone verification. So if you use the use it in the wrong format, the transaction won't go. So after that, click on submit and give it some seconds to load, um, depending on your network speed. So mine is still loading and um, okay, I've gotten a prompt saying withdraw request submitted. So it will show you how um, the information, the transaction information, what the receiver will get, um, the network fee you pay and stuff. So now this is where I was talking about. You have to save the address. So if this is your personal address or an address that you usually send um, your Binance, your BNB to, um, I'll advise you to just save the address name so you don't need to always copy the code. So right now this is my trust wallet. Um, um smart chain wallet address so i'll just uh, name it as tribe web tech so anytime i need it i don't need to go and copy the whole name again i just need to just look for the tribe web tech in my address book and then i love binance their security feature is top notch so i still need to request for another code to confirm that i'm the one initiating this order so a code will be sent to me um an otp code but this time it's just the phone my phone and then the code is here so just put in the code and then click on submit and that's all the address book has been saved so anytime i want to make a transaction i don't need to copy the long strings of um of a numeric combination uh, that's my wallet address so right now as you can see it's still in processing which is yellow um the other one i did previously is showing green which is done so um it takes 15 confirmations before your um transaction is complete so right now um it's zero so you have to give it some time okay as you can see now uh, this is where you see the whole information about the transaction um, now it has done two out of 15 transactions so it has to be 15 out of 15 before the token or the coin or whatever withdrawal you're doing is sent is delivered to the account so we have to give it some time and then probably click on the refresh button you have to be patient um, click on the refresh button and um, let's give it some time and see if it will be delivered now okay as you can see now the transaction has been completed um if you see here now it's showing green which is completed so the next thing you have to do is check your you also get an sms and em an email notification letting you know that the coin or your crypto has been sent to the other wallet and then you might receive a notification from your other wallet too so the next part you have to do is um the next part is um the fiat which is the physical cash it can be in naira us dollar pounds yen so uh click on withdraw fiat and um let me guide you through the whole process of how to withdraw fiat is if you don't want to send if you want to withdraw straight to your bank account and then receive the money as physical cash so um you have to click on um this drop down menu and then you see the options available for withdrawing in fi um, binance so i can use the nigerian era but right now nigerian era has been um suspended by the nigerian government so um let me just show you what i mean so if you click on the nigerian era right now you see um channel suspended so um nigerians are to use p2p which is the pair to pair version so um i made a video on p2p which is pair to pair so you can check on that video right now let's just use an example and let's say i want to withdraw the great British pound so um here you'll be given all the recommended options so i can use um faster payment or bank card but they have charges attached to them so uh you can select any one you want that's the that's the most suitable to you and let's say i want to withdraw a thousand um, pounds but um right now i don't have a thousand pounds i'm just um making this video for um educational purposes i don't have a thousand pounds but let's say you have a thousand pounds or any amount you want to withdraw you'll be giving your full information here um and then you see the transaction fee and how much you get in total and after that you have to click on continue but one thing you have to make sure is that um the account you are withdrawing to the bank account must be the same with the name registered on your binance or else it won't work and then if you scroll down you can come here and see your withdrawal history so you have to make sure you use the same account that is linked to your bank account make sure it's the same the bank account name is the same as your binance name different name and the transaction wouldn't work and you don't want your money being um hanged in um, in the field transaction so um guys this is how to withdraw your money of uh, this is how to withdraw your crypto 
from Binance. This is how to redraw your fires from Binance. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me questions in the comment section. I'm always here to interact with you. Ask me questions. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. This is very important. Hit the like button. Um, if you've not subscribed to this channel, subscribe. Turn on the notification because we'll be dropping lots and lots of new updates. And um, at the, um, this is just the basic part of Binance. As this video, as this um, channel goes on, we'll be giving more advanced um, features in Binance like um, the future trading and stuff, st uh, stop loss, stop limits and other stuff like that. So um, please hit the subscribe button, ask me questions um, in the comment section and um, thanks for watching.